everyone. My name's Lisa Stojanovsky and this week we had two launches. This is your Launch Minute. First up, we have Iran who launched their Simorg rocket at about 0030 UTC on Tuesday, January 15th. It lifted off from the Imam Khomeini spaceport in the northern central part of the country. Simorg is a 27-metre tall liquid-fueled three-stage rocket and was heading to a 500-kilometre, 55-degree inclination orbit. This rocket was carrying the 100 kilogram Payam Air Amir Kabir Earth Observation Satellite, designed to take both black and white and colour photographs of Earth. However, due to a failure in the third stage of the rocket, the payload did not reach orbit. But next we have Japan launching their Epsilon rocket. It launched at 0050 UTC on Friday, January 18th from the beautiful Uchinora Space Center in southwestern Japan. Epsilon is a 26 meter tall solid rocket and this launch used a four stage configuration to reach a 500 kilometer orbit at 97.2 degrees. Its primary payload was RAPIS-1, or Rapid Innovative Payload Demonstration Satellite 1, testing a bunch of new things, including a new thin membrane solar panel, a green non-toxic propulsion system, a new high-speed X-band communication system, and more for JAXA, the Japanese space agency. There was also an additional six rideshare payloads on board, Wow, first up, I'd just like to say how cool it is that both launches this week are from countries that traditionally don't have high annual launch rates. If we look at the stats, we've got China, the US, Iran, and Japan at one launch attempt per piece for 2019. And they're all tied, that leading to a total of four launches from Earth for 2019 so far. But yes, the Iran launch didn't actually reach orbit, and actually the Simorg rocket doesn't have a great history. It's actually had two failures out of the three total launch attempts for that rocket. The Japanese launch this week carried six additional rideshare payloads. You might be familiar with one of them. Astro Live Experiences, or AILE, was actually the guest on our Space Live show for Orbit 11.39. And their satellite, AL-1, is going to self-maneuver itself to a lower altitude so that by early 2020, it's going to be ready to shoot pellets into the upper atmosphere and create on-demand meteor showers. And coming up next week, we have a Delta IV Heavy scheduled for tomorrow at 19.05 UTC and an Indian PSLV launch on January 24th at 18.08 UTC. On the live space show tomorrow, we've got the University of Stuttgart Small Sat Society, also known as KSAT, who will be talking to us about various projects, including their experiment on the International Space Station, a robot designed to climb on the outside of rockets, and a 3U CubeSat launching in 2020. So leave your questions or comments for them in the comments below. We might ask it, or even better, join us tomorrow at 1800 UTC live so you can have your question answered in real time. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss the notification of when we're actually going live. So until next time, keep on discovering.